Hey guys, it's Khan. Today we're going to be playing some Hydraneer. And um, we're creating a new game because the last one that I had uh, bugged out really bad. Needless to say, let me make sure I ain't got no unwanted tabs. And no, because I think that's what drug me down. I had a bunch of tabs open that I didn't need open. So, I think we're good now to name it. Get a steam cloud save because I always do that. I already put you I already put that put a bunch of more dots. Okay, so it just takes the dots out apparently. There. Alright, so in this game you just start here. This is actually a surprisingly hard game to run, if you know what I mean. It has a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on the same time I think my settings are messed up it feels abnormally choppy right now right, hold on let me uh oh maybe that's why huh Because literally everything is on Epic. Maybe that's why I was having so many issues. I literally cannot tell it. Did, did I save it? I guess. I literally can't tell the difference graphically. That's mm, the story for most of my problem. I literally cannot tell a difference in graphics between low, medium, and high. Just can't tell a difference. Oops. Being stupid right now, you stupid thing. Oh, I thought it lagged out for a second, but I didn't think to realize that I was not pressing on the W button to move. So, my brain is not working today. Just because it was a snow day does not mean that my brain is working better. gonna do this here for a second just try to get a little bit of money and uh, I'll also be showing you quite a few little setups that will make you a lot of money how I made most of my money the first time I played this game which I literally have more money than I know what to do with now. Oh, I think I failed to mention that there is nukes in this game. And it is awesome. You need them to get down to the lower parts of certain properties. Um, a lot of people don't like Mildew's Aquifer. It's cheap, but you have to dig to get to the, like, water, which isn't really a bad thing because since you have to dig that deep to get the water your machines are also need to be down there they don't have to be but they need to be and you make a lot more money so therefore you're way better off than if you just would have left it alone 
my game feels a lot smoother now that all, that all of my settings are off epic even though it, it, if, can y'all tell a difference honestly I can't might be shiny but you need a keen eye to value it right fifty eight dollars whoop de doo we're making bank today let's go see what we can buy we can buy a grand total of jack squat Hey River, I'm just recording a YouTube video right now. What the heck can we do with $58? Absolutely nothing. Uh, Paul, I think. River, I restarted to do this the YouTube thing, so now I, I have nothing. Might as well just buy a bed. It feels like I'm so broke. Since I've only, I only have one coin, and not like a whole stack. Hey, drop a coin in the uh, well at the controller, and you'll get a old boot. <laughs> you know how much the boots sell for, right? No. <laughs> Five bucks. How much did you waste on that? Oh, I dropped like nine dollars. <laughs> I don't even think they're worth that much. I think they're worth like a dollar, maybe. Where can you sell them at? The, just the stock market. You messed up big time. Oh shit! Glitch under the ground right now. Uh, there's an a get unstuck button. In the menu, no, if it I'm comes to that. Good. Oh, we got a Cloutium! It's actually really good early on. Let's go ahead and sell that real quick. What? Cloutium. It's the most powerful war in the game. It, it's really Clarion. It's it's really powerful. It's expensive. Valium. Cloutium. No. Like YouTube, like f fame, and at, or like Cloutium, like clout. And just add em on the end of it. Cloutium. I had to explain to these guys why iron and gold sell for the exact same amount. Playing the hoop. What? The the Playing YouTube the, the YouTube video. Why are they worth the same amount? I don't know. It's beyond me. Sixty-eight dollars plus thirty-four dollars makes well. Come on now. My coin. Well, that's the last we're gonna see of that dollar. That thirty-eight dollars actually. Money. Yes, it just shot off into infinity. That's tough. It really is. Yeah. Leave a like and subscribe if you uh, would get frustrated at this game. Go do it now because I know you would because I do. Especially with the flipping pops. Word of God, that made me want to shoot something. That made me want to nuke my own house. I'm gonna get you arrested for saying that.
Should I get you arrested for saying you didn't nuke your own house? I would say a lot of other things. <laughs> but, the, but, um, I'm posting this on the internet, so that would not be favorable for you. Making money. Five dollars. Man, I hate being broke. Can really you water sucks. plants without a watering can? Yeah, you just gotta take an individual bucket of water over there and dump on it. I got some tomatoes earlier. They sell for really like 11 coins each. So unless you have like a ton, it ain't gonna do crap. How long do they take to grow? Well, you can do it all in one day if you just want, if you have the patience. How much do I need water? Whenever the ground isn't, whenever the ground is not dry. Or whenever the ground is dry. Which is literally like every two minutes. How do you tell if it's dry or not? How do you tell if actual soil is dry? What? How do you tell if real soil is dry? If it's not moist. You mean you don't go outside and look at the soil and you can tell if it's if it's a darker gray or if it's a darker brown that it's Yeah, if, most times it's a darker brown that means it's more moist. Yes, if it's light brown, it's dry. It's dark brown, it's not. Oh, I actually found out something. I found out that if you um, fill those little tiny buckets all the way full of uh, of dirt and go get one bucket of water, you can do like, think, you can get like three buckets worth of, of uh, gems, stuff out of it. How do you do it? Um, you, you fill those little tiny buckets. Like the little tiny ones you get up, like all the way, with like five scoops of dirt, and then and then you dump it in there and put one bucket full of water, <coughs> <coughs> and there you go. It's actually what I'm doing. Right. I have the bucket filled all the way up. Now what do I do? Uh, the little one or the pan? The little one. You just dump it in there. Dump it in the pan? Yeah, and then it'll fill it up a lot more than normal. And then you get like three times the materials. It stacks all together, so. You can put two buckets in a pan at once. You can? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I can try though. Fifty four dollars. I just realized how much I actually need to to um to get the drill. Wow, this can be a while. At least I know how to use a drill. Come on now! You, you want kids. What? You want kids. Bro, you're literally on video right now. I'm gonna get you arrested for saying that. I'm gonna get you arrested for saying that. Get you arrested for saying that. What about when you're older?
I don't think you get that I'm recording right now. No. Were you aware? Or no. I forgot to end the Discord call, so that's why. Can you put two buckets in at once? No, you cannot. Oh my god! I'm on the way it's out, though. People hear me on the video. Yeah. I'm all the way at South Hope now, guys. We just found <laughs> how to travel via rocket. All the way at South Hope. Now we gotta walk all the way back, and there's no way for me to speed this up. So y'all are gonna have to bear with me or skip. <sighs> Time cut will not be added. I don't need to be at Bridgeport yet. I don't think you know that game. I did not bargain for literally being shot 3,000 feet all the way to Bridgeport. South Hope. Pretty good. I got the goods if you got the cash. I'm actually. Never mind. I don't have any coins on me right now. I'm gonna go meet it for a few minutes. Alright. Well, we are not supposed to be here right now. This is not a place you're really supposed to go until you actually get a lot of coins. Why is your voice so deep? We are almost back. So the deeper you dig, the more the more money you get for your stuff. So um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. Oh, we're gonna start digging deeper in the actual soil itself. So I need to start making this opening a little bit bigger. That way you can squeeze through it. So we've now officially got over a hundred dollars. Just good. Okay, we got a ruby. Hold on, I'm gonna take our one hundred and fifty-three dollars and go buy us a. Uh, a grindstone with eighty-four. This for eighty-six. Oh, wait, we can't. We ain't got quite enough. So now that we got ourselves a grindstone, we can just slap that down. Take our priceless ruby. Shave it down. Now let's go sell this. So the first time I sold Clathium, I got a really big piece. And got like $128 for one piece. And I was very excited. Only to find out you don't get that big of a piece very often. Perfect. Here we are. So we're not really going to get much here. Because by the time we get the 
drill. We're just going to set it up for just a short amount of time just to get enough money to pay for probably a Brox, uh, the Brock, the Quarry, Brock's, or, yeah, Brock's Quarry, whatever it is. Um, we're only going to get enough to pay for that, and then we're going to leave, which is $1,200. We're going to pack everything we got into our uh, trusty truck that's right here. Okay, 132. That should be enough to get everything we need to get ourselves a crucible. And everything we need. To um, turn our money into ingots. Oh, it's 146. We only have 132. Mm, tough. I forgot the mongol is like crazy expensive. Never could figure out why, it just is. Okay, we got ourselves an emerald, which happens to sell for the worst. And now we can go ahead and sell this. And we should have enough money to buy everything we need to smelt. Emeralds still sell for quite a bit. They just don't sell for as much. Let's see. So this is for one piece of gold and an emerald. 49 coins. We got a pretty good amount. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like this series. I love this game, so it's probably my top number one game on PC, except for maybe the exception of The Forest, because The Forest is really, really, really good. And I do plan on continuing that series, I just haven't got to it yet. And trust me, you're not supposed to die to cannibals in the Fertile Lands. I have no idea how that happened. Even my friends that I said I would show to, they were genuinely surprised. Alright. I was just telling them about how in my uh, latest video of the forest, I got killed by cannibals in the Fertile Lands. What? Uh, the forest. I got killed by cannibals in the Fertile Lands. Which never happens. They're not even supposed to be able to spawn there, but apparently they do today, that day. Oh, I'll be back on the call in like 30 minutes. Alright. I'm soon to be on hover here. So, the deeper you go in this game, the better stuff that you get from your pan. Just like that, I got another emerald. So we're just going to uh, stack these through here. Need to buy us a table. Right now we're melting gold so we can't really do anything. 
with the iron just yet. So these videos are going to be more like live stream videos as in we won't um, really be editing them or I won't well I don't edit my videos because I'm not good at it and if I edit it it just makes it worse so crap I'm stuck. So you're going to get these little tiny bars to you actually <clears throat> start putting a lot more in there. Which we can't really do at the moment because we're not really that established of a mining company. we get the drill we can't really make full size bars because um, the, you gotta put a, quite a few in to get full size bars and that's just something we can't really do at the moment Seven dollars right now. So we need to focus on getting this stuff the anvil and the blacksmithing stuff. It's gonna be a hundred and ninety one dollars. It's got a lot, but it's gonna be worth it because jewelry sells for a lot of money a lot of money and the jeweler buys it at a consistent rate which the rate that she buys it in is pretty high for Kana is just heavily dependent on what you make. Keep falling into that hole. Where did the bucket go? The bucket kind of just disappeared. It's a good thing a bucket's literally four bucks. So I don't understand why buckets are so cheap, but <laughs> to, they were kind of almost useless to me when I was playing the game for the last time. Because by the time I figured out that you could do what I'm doing with it right now, it was literally... Uh, I, I, already, I, I already had thousands of dollars from my drill so I had no reason at all 
to do this. I'm not actually sure if it sells for more. In I'm not actually sure if it sells for more in bar form, but I'm assuming that it does. I I know that it don't sell for less. It might sell for the same. I think the only real purpose in bars is for jewelry. And just to make it a bit cleaner. There's no real drastic difference. It may be like a couple of dollars difference, but... It's been good so far. I haven't... There's been no, bu like, big bugs. Or, like, li like lag spikes. So, that's good. It's getting kind of tricky to get down there. That deep. And if you guys want more VR videos, I'm going to have some coming out here pretty soon. Not really sure what game, but um, I'll have some. And if there's any like VR series you want me to resume, um, please put down in the comments. I know Harvest VR is a recommended one. Uh, whenever I came back in. She's fine. No, she ain't. She's not here. Yeah, she always comes back. He gets very worried whenever my dog has been gone for like 30 minutes. No, it's not usual for her, but... It's never... been anything bad. We're doing pretty good on stuff. I don't think we have a... I think we sold all of our gems, so... We'll have to dig some out in order to make... Uh, stuff on the, uh... $186. It's enough, I think, combined with the stuff we got in the bin... To get what we need. I don't know why we got so much that time. I didn't really do much. Different. Alright, we got... A total of $249. I'm actually going to buy a couple concrete blocks to put all of our stuff on. Is there five... Five coins each? Oh, we do have an emerald over there, I see. Told you it wasn't nothing bad. She is back. He just overlooks it sometimes. She's getting old though, so it could happen anytime that she does chase cars really bad when we're out there. It's only when we're out there. I don't understand why, but apparently she thinks that we are going to get killed by a car. But She's been a good dog. I will say jewelry is kind of a really annoying process. Because you got to be very quick with your metals. Very, very quick. Because you have to get two on there. You have to get 
uh, the jewel on there, which it, you can do beforehand. But you got to get the metal on there while it's warmed up, and press the and um, uh, get the ham pick the hammer up and actually hammer it in the time that it takes it to cool down, which is not very fast or long. I don't know why, but when you get in a car and actually like hit one of these NPCs, they go flying across the map, kind of like I did. Alright. Get over here. So you gotta melt, so you first got to melt the, you gotta melt the metal into bars, is the first step. The second step is to um, heat it up in the furnace. So we do eventually need to move out of this little plot of land because uh, this is literally the only plot of land that doesn't go down to like tier one, tier two, or that, that doesn't go down to tier two and tier three. It is tier one only. Oh, let's go. We got a sapphire. Got over here in our stack of gems. I don't know why the emerald is long. So, um, once we have... Or, once we are at the point to where we get a scale, we can actually weigh the materials to see what we get or to see what we can get out of them and how much money we can get out of them it shows price too for some reason don't exactly know why so right now we're looking for four pieces of gold two pieces per ingot and then we're gonna um, forge our sapphire in here it is so annoying to put these on which is another reason why it's a very tedious process because you miss half the time it's not so much that they cool down fast, it's the fact that you cannot hit the anvil. I don't know why they couldn't have made it a bit bigger, but they didn't. So it literally just bounces off half the time. Which I can say from experience is very annoying. Okay, looks like we got at least a piece of gold. Why does it pull the iron out 90% of the time? So we put four times the dirt in, get two pieces. And I think the reason we only get two pieces is because the pieces are a little, a slight bit bigger. I think it kind of combines them a little bit and makes them slightly bigger. One piece of gold is all we need now. We got that, and we also got a ruby. Which is the best selling jewel. So I think we'll use it instead of the sapphire. Okay, we'll stack the sapphire back over here. So now we can take and pour this ingot. We can throw the crucible down out there because that isn't needed right now. Okay, so we just gotta wait for all these to warm up. We need to get our hammer over here. Get it like ready. Crap. 
And I forgot to select what we were making. Therefore, it had cooled down already. Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, froze a little bit, saving. Does that when it saves? There we go. Go back. So the so the necklaces. So we got four gold nuggets in this and one ruby. So for the four gold nuggets, we would probably have got like twenty bucks. Roughly, and so yeah, we we made a lot more off of that because you probably would have also only got like 24 off the gym. So we made like so you got 45, we made 70. So like um 25 more than you would have made otherwise. So. So I don't really know what we need in here. Pickaxe isn't necessary. We don't need that. Can you not actually grab the table? Like, the, oh, the tables here is not are not usable. So you have to go all the way down there to get one. So we've got a hundred and six dollars. So now we can probably just better off putting that towards. Or mining rig. It's going to be seven hundred and fifty two dollars, so go ahead and put the crucible on and start warming up. I think for this video we're going to make like one more necklace and then I think that's it. And uh, by the way, necklaces sell for more. So whatever you do, make necklaces not um, uh, rings. Because you get 25% more for your weight if you make necklaces. Just one more gem. I accidentally picked up a piece of iron. Right, that's a ruby. Hmm, all of our other gems uh, aren't there. I might have sold them for all I know. I want to make a weapon this time. Instead of a necklace.
You can make daggers. So now we'll just make a small necklace. Just make one with those two pieces of gold. So apparently you can melt it in the crucible, but you can put it in the fire with uh, that has way more heat, and it uh, not melt. It's kind of. The logic in this game is kind of stupid, even though there's literally an item in the game that is logic. It doesn't make sense. That was not intentional, but it happened. None of this is intentional because I don't have the specified construction hammer to stop these from moving, so they just kind of move. But all that matters is we made our necklace. And now we will check how much it is worth. This is very small compared to the, to the ones that I've made before. I've made some that are worth like three grand. <laughs> and these are literally worth like 70 bucks. 25 bucks. Which we probably could have got more just selling the gem and the two pieces of gold itself. But, well, we will go ahead and put this to our funds to go to the drill and the uh, harvester. Hopefully, I can get another hydrogenier video out. Tomorrow, we'll just yay, snow day. If any of y'all from Alaska, I'm truly sorry that you all do not get snow days, but they are very nice. I love them. But, um, well, without further ado, um, this has been a good video, and I will see you guys in the next one.